Okay, so we're looking at the heart here. We're going to look at the major arteries and veins of the heart itself. Uh, so I've already removed off the top uh, my aortas, my pulmonary arteries and veins there, uh, and the superior vena cava. So take that off uh, so that we can see down. So this is my aorta where it first comes out of my left ventricle. And we can see it has two branches, one that wraps around this way and one that wraps around this way. Uh, those are my coronary arteries, so you have a left and a right coronary artery. So let's follow first the left one, so as it wraps around this way. It's got two branches, one that goes and wraps around uh, the left uh, atrium, that's your circumflex artery, and one that comes down the middle here in between the two ventricles. This is my anterior interventricular artery. Okay, so interventricular between ventricles and it's on the anterior side. Uh, if we look at the veins immediately next to it, so we see this one vein here, it's right next to our anterior interventricular artery. Uh, this is called the great cardiac vein. You can see it comes all the way up and kind of wraps around uh, where the circumflex artery is and follows it again around the left atrium. Look at the right coronary artery. So it comes off the uh, aorta there and wraps around down. We can see there's some marginal arteries branch off here. Uh, you also have the adjacent veins next to it. Uh, these are our small cardiac veins. Okay, so that's on the front. Now let's look at the posterior side of the heart. <coughs> so reorient ourselves here. Uh, this is the circumflex artery wrapping around. The great cardiac vein immediately adjacent to it, again wrapping around until it gets to this region right here uh, where it begins to swell. Uh, this is the coronary sinus. Okay, uh, Coronary sinus uh, is the swollen part uh, and branching down from it is the middle cardiac vein which is immediately next to the posterior intraventricular artery. Uh, 